everything you need to know about living in Lighthouse Point, Florida. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, go ahead and take this opportunity right now to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you can be first to be notified whenever I drop brand new content about what it's like to live in sunny South Florida. If you didn't know, my name is Joseph McFarlane and I am the broker owner of Reform Realty, South Florida Homes and Luxury Estates. And as much as I love to make these videos, I would love it even more to be able to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. So the contact information you see popping up below is my direct contact information. I'm the actual person who will be answering the calls, responding to your texts and to your emails. Please never hesitate to reach out and ask if you ever have a question about anything having to do with real estate in South Florida or any of the videos that I create. Also, take the liberty to leave a comment and if you're up to it, you may even wanna take a look at some of the links in the description box because there are some free resources that I provide to you at no charge. Before we jump into it, I want you to also take a look at some of the other videos that are on my channel. I cover lots of information in South Florida about what it's like to live here. Top three, top five, top 10 lists, as well as pros and cons things to do, things to see, and I'm always updating the channel with new information for your entertainment and viewing pleasure. Now, without further ado, let's jump into everything you need to know about Lighthouse Point, Florida. One of the first things that I wanna point out is that we're talking about Lighthouse Point, South Florida. That's near Fort Lauderdale and Pompano Beach. Not to be confused with Lighthouse Point up in Palm City, which is several hours north of South Florida, which is also a beautiful town. But I find that when you type in Lighthouse Point, Florida into Google searches, sometimes the one way up north comes up in the search results. So we're talking about Lighthouse Point, South Florida. That's the first thing you should know. Secondly, while it's very inexpensive to live in Florida because of our advantageous tax rates, and generally speaking, the overall pricing of property in South Florida, as opposed to the exuberant pricing that we see in other places like Long Island, New York, for a very good example, it's still relatively inexpensive to live here. However, Lighthouse Point, as it compares to other cities within South Florida, is actually very expensive. To give you an idea, the average home sale price in Lighthouse Point, Florida is between 1.1 and about $1.4 million as of the making of this video. There have been substantial increases in property values ranging between 30% to as high as 50% just inside the last 12 months alone. That's major appreciation to the upside. Now, one of the many reasons that has contributed to the prices going so much higher is that Lighthouse Point is almost an exclusive boating community. Tons of boaters live here. It's near the intercoastal, and in many cases, many properties are actually on the intercoastal and on the ocean front. So, if you have a boat, you're probably shopping in Lighthouse Point. If you're thinking of getting a boat, you probably want to look at a property in Lighthouse Point. So, naturally speaking, the high demand combined with the boaters' demand for a dock and to live near the water is one of the many reasons why prices continue to drive higher in Lighthouse Point, Florida. Now, even though it is more expensive, on a positive note, you are living in a very affluent community. Typically, people have higher sources of income, typically people are sending their children to the private school system, and typically you will enjoy the many benefits and spoils of living in a very affluent community like Lighthouse Point. It's absolutely beautiful, definitely check it out. Now, you should also know that Lighthouse Point is a suburb of Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is a city, not a major city, maybe to some people it's a major city, but to somebody like me who's originally from New York, it's not a major city, it's a small city. But Fort Lauderdale is a major known city in South Florida. Lighthouse Point is about 15 minutes northeast of Fort Lauderdale. It is a suburb, it's a lot more quiet, there's a lot less people. In fact, it kind of gives you the feeling of a quaint beach town. Of course, Lighthouse Point gets its name 
from the lighthouse that's located right at the point at the inlet. The lighthouse is open and operates today. It's super cool if you go down there and check it out, take some photographs, bring the family down there for the day, and you can even hit the beach or grab a drink nearby after at one of the many local establishments. Speaking of local establishments, some of the top restaurants that you should visit while you're in South Florida, especially when you're in Lighthouse Point, are as follows. Ready? Write this down. Naughty Dog Restaurant, Papa's Raw Bar, The Axe Throwing Society, and last, but certainly not least, and probably my favorite, Gaucho Rodizio Brazilian Steakhouse. Every one of these restaurants you can have a great time at, excellent service, wonderful food, and have something to write home about when you're visiting Lighthouse Point, Florida. I went and I've been there myself, and as a local, we love these places, and when you talk to other locals, they're gonna refer you to the same spots as well. Stay away from those other tourist traps while you're down here. Those are four great go-to places that you're gonna love. Now, when you're not enjoying the beach or cruising on your boat, or going fishing or enjoying the many different places where you can dine, you can also rest and know that there's awesome places for parks and recreation. Relaxation Central. Nearby, check out these following parks. Exchange Park, McDonough Park, and last and also not least, DeGroff Park. All very conveniently tucked away in Lighthouse Point. Lots to do, a great place to bring the kids. Many people go there every day just to enjoy the green space. One of the things that you're gonna notice on my videos is that I always talk about in South Florida, the advantage and benefits of the proximity of living here. Well, Lighthouse Point is no different. You are approximately 15 minutes away from Fort Lauderdale five to 10 minutes away from Pompano Beach, about 15 minutes south of the world famous Deerfield Beach Pier, about 20 minutes south of Boca Raton, and about 35 minutes north of Miami. And that's just in the local vicinity of Lighthouse Point. If you wanna venture outward, well of course, three hours north, you have Disneyland, three hours south, you have Key West, or you can board an airplane and fly about 90 minutes west to the Bahamas. All in all, Lighthouse Point proximity is key to having fun in the sun in South Florida. Last and certainly not least, as I did mention before, Lighthouse Point is an avid boaters community. Most people who live here own a boat and use it often cruising the intercoastal or heading out to the ocean to go fishing. When you're visiting Lighthouse Point, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the intercoastal waterways. There's so much to do, there's such fun to be had, and there's tons to see. In all, there are endless opportunities to enjoy here in South Florida while living in Lighthouse Point, and I think you're gonna love it when you visit here. Well, there you have it, friends. That's everything you need to know about living in Lighthouse Point, Florida. Please remember to check out some of the other videos that I post on this channel where I go in depth on a lot of the pros and cons or the top tens and other things to do while you're here. I wish you many blessings. Talk to you soon.